So the foray into treatment of patients and specifically women changed probably in the mid 1990s. We had for years treated patients, women specifically, uh, in the time of childbirth, the perinatal uh, method. A lot of the times uh, there are mishaps with delivery and bleeding and issues. And we had been supporting the gynecologists and obstetricians dealing with those emergencies with blockaging and stopping blood flow. Um, Fibroid embolization was a development in the 1990s where um, we found that when we slowed the blood flow in some patients with benign disease of the pelvis called fibroids, which impacts about 30 to 40 per of percent of women of all ages in their late um, 40s, found that actually when we blocked the blood vessel to help them slow the blood flow before surgery, that actually treated the fibroids and that they didn't need surgery. So this was the forefront of a development of treatment of fibroid immunization for women where it became the de facto treatment. The supportive procedure became the treatment method per se. So in about 15 years, interventional radiology has actually perfected this method of treating a benign problematic issue for women that affects large numbers called fibroid embolization and shown evidence actually level one evidence of the random, randomized control studies that this is actually a excellent, safe and appropriate treatment. So much so now is standard of care that all women should be offered. Nonetheless, this has actually propelled us into other areas. We treat now other areas of uh, varicose veins of the woman, varicose veins of the pelvis. We have pelvic floor dysfunction uh, therapy options innovative treatments for chronic pelvic pain. So I think our foray into helping patients, specifically women, has actually expanded tremendously in the last 15 years. Well, uh, Johns Hopkins Interventional Radiology website may be a segue to access other resources on the internet. We certainly have through our um, online some webinars. Another excellent resource is the Society of Interventional Radiology. The website is actually www.sirweb.org. That's S-I-R-W-E-B.org. It tends to have a very good uh, spectrum of educational products as well as explain somewhat what we do as well as introduce you to other areas. Um, through our website there are other links to explanations, patient testimonials as well as explanation of some of the therapies we provide as well as the trials that are housed within our division.